long ago, two races ruled over Earth humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They seal the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Undertale! So, I know, I know, I know, I've played this game for the channel a lot of times before in the past, but however, whenever I played this game, it was always on stream. Um, whenever I kind of played the game, I was never able to fully talk about it, I was never able to fully, you know, enjoy the game. I'll just enjoy the sense of humour, because like, I was always focused on talking to the chat, you know, I was always focused on seen what people wanted me to do whilst I was playing the game, etc. So I was never really able to fully, like, enjoy the game with you guys. So, we're gonna go play the game, and, uh, yeah. Shouldn't be a long playthrough, I do know the game off the top of my hand, so, yeah. Anyway, so we're also gonna be playing the true pacifist route, so, yeah. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hee hee hee. Why'd you make me introduce myself? Is rude to act like you don't know who I am. Yeah, um, <laughs> Since I've already played the save file before, um, yeah, he'd have a different dialogue if I didn't already play this file. Someone ought to teach you some proper manners. I guess little old me will have to do. So, yeah, um, ready? Here we go. So, uh, yeah, Flowey's gonna be like that. See that soul? That is your hat. Uh, <laughs> nailed it, Thomas. Your soul starts off weak, but you can't grow strong if you don't gain a lot of love. What does love stand for? Why love? Of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. I don't know if I want a flower to love me, to be honest. Down here, love is shared through. Little white, friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Oh man, I want... Oh, what? You idiot, in this world, it's kill or be killed. Oh man, I totally didn't know that was ever gonna happen. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Well, we're fucked. <laughs> well, looks like we're bone. <laughs> looks like I'm gonna die and it's only episode one. Well, okay. What the hell that? Hey, it's Goat Mom! <laughs> what terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am surreal, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You were the first human to come here in a long time. Come. I'll guide you through the catacombs. This way. Alright then. A random goat is going to come help me out. Why not? I'm going to save over this file just because this were an old save file. Uh, if you want to know what, what this save file is about, type in um, Undertale Hard Mode. And uh, yeah, I've done it for my channel before if you ever want to you know, see it. I think it's called like, uh, is Undertale Hard Mode really that hard or something? I don't remember. Uh, I'm an educating Operation of the Ruins. Alright, so this is going to lead us through a series of puzzles, and yeah. The rooms are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Alright then, you don't actually have to do really anything. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labelled the ones that you need to flip. Alright then, oh I wonder which one I need to flip. Oh, I, I can't flip any, I thought they would be flipped. <laughs> Oh boy, which one do I need to flip? I wonder, you didn't label it clearly enough to real. <laughs> Alright. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You'll need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. 
Solve the time, I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Alright then, I think we can do that. Um, I know I'm anti-social nowadays, but uh, we can do that, we can do that. Alright, uh, let's do act and then we'll do talk. Uh, you talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Same. Terrell seems happy with you. You won. Hey! Ah, very good, very good. You are very good. Cool, cool. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. So, uh, yeah. Um, I know I've played this game for the channel before. Um, oh! Here's our first proper monster of the game, not a dummy. Now, let me explain quickly how True Pacifist works. Basically, what you want to do, you want to spare every monster you encounter. Uh, you don't want to use this fight command, you want to go for act. Uh, sometimes it'll just let you go for mercy straight away. Alternatively, you can actually just flee, but I don't recommend doing that because it's like for the credits. So I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to try and spare every monster I can. So yeah. Uh, obviously, you want to go for compliment on this one. Uh, Froggy didn't understand what he said, but was flattered anyway. I uh, think uh, Tyrell's like, You really want to mess with him? I won't try it. <laughs> I just love the serious face on him. Uh, but yeah, uh, basically, with true pacifist, you don't want to. Uh, you don't want to hit any monsters. Because you're trying to go for the spare route. Uh, so yeah. There are a couple of different routes in this game that you can take. You can take either true pacifist, which is what we're doing. Uh, you can take neutral, which is, you can hurt monsters, but if you hurt too many, you're going to trigger the last one, which is genocide. Now, genocide is a completely different new story mode. Um, uh, I would like you to walk to the end of the room by itself, forgive me for this. So yeah, genocide is a completely different run. Uh, basically, you've got to kill every monster. Um, like, there's a couple of rules for genocide, um, I suggest looking it up if you don't know. Cause it's difficult to explain, but basically you just kill like every monster. Um, and then there's a certain sound that you get when you trigger it. Um, and honestly, genocide takes a very long time to do and it's so difficult, I haven't even done it yet. And I've played through this game like, so many times. Greetings my child, do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar for the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. Do this. I have an idea. I'll give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? I'll try. I'll try, darling. <laughs> Ring. Hello, this is the real. You have not left a room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them by yourself. Be good, alright? I'll try. Alright, so if you talk to this frog. Ribbit, ribbit, excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about early monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please. Use some mercy, human. Ribbit. So, yeah, basically, it's just explaining uh, spare the monsters, don't actually kill them. Yeah, so if you go into here, you can get uh, some pieces of candy. Now, because we're not going to be leveling up, we're going to be stuck at 20 HP for basically the entire game. So, this is almost a full heal. It's like 10 HP, I believe? So, it's actually really useful, because uh, like I said, in this game, we're not going to be saving, so I definitely recommend picking them up uh, whenever you can. So yeah, and I swear, I always get a monster here. Alright, so yeah, um, we're going to have to do compliment or we can just run away. I'm going to do one of them act, and then the next one I'm going to show you, I'm going to do that. Now, here's the battle system. Each monster has kind of their own battle system, in the sense that whenever you go to battle them, they're going to do something different. Now, some of the attacks, they're really difficult to dodge. Uh, some of them are just, they're stupidly easy, so yeah. Now, uh, we can never get a cinnamon pie or a butterscotch. It doesn't really matter which one you take, I don't think. Uh, I think it just has the exact same uh, effect, so it's not really that big of a deal. So yeah. Alright, would you turn down the nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thanks for being patient, by the way. Alright. So, uh, let's just put this on. Well, let's not. <laughs> oh, we have a new uh, enemy, Whimson. So, Whimson is an interesting enemy. Um, oh, is it already ready to be spent? Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so, yeah, basically, Whimson, all it really does is... I think it does, like, a certain circle pattern around you. And, uh, yeah. It's not that hard to dodge. Uh, combine that with another enemy, it's really annoying. 
But yeah. Now, <laughs> I have a bit of a crack here. I'm going to see if I can do this without falling down. I've done it before. I want to see if I can memorise the pattern. So I think it was that. I think it was up. Ah, shoot. Down. Oh, I thought I fell one. Frog it. Alright, let's do act. Um, I'm going to try and do a couple of these uh, because this is basically... Ah, I forgot about that. <laughs> This is the only way to get gold, basically, um, because in this game, since you can't kill monsters, uh, you have to get as much gold as you possibly can, which can be really difficult to do, considering some of the monsters, they only give you, like, two gold, so it's not very easy. Well there, partner, who said you could push me around? Hmm, so you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alright, how's this? This ain't helping. Hmm. That was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, that's it. That's good, Rock. Lado. Wah. Hmm. You want me to stay there? You give me a real workout. Why didn't you just stay there in the first place? Like, for real. <laughs> for real. If only you had determination. Yeah. I got the determination. I had a gun you. This ghost keeps repeating ZZZ out loud pretending to sleep. This is so me. <laughs> like, just laying in bed at the light. I had a gun you. <laughs> it's so me. Alright. So I believe what you want to do is cheer for this one. Um, I don't remember what they all do. Um, because, yes, I have played this game quite a few times, but I don't remember what every monster does. Um, or how, like, you're supposed to spare them. Um, Namsa Blue was one of those monsters that I didn't know you could actually spare until a couple of runs ago. Um, so yeah, now this attack, I don't know how to dodge this. I've never, for the life of me, been able to dodge it. And I don't know why. Alright, so I believe to cheer again. You told Nobs to look a little joke. Hehehe. <laughs> Alright, so I believe after a while he's going to be, uh, like, trying not to hit you. So let's do cheer again. He wants to show you something. Let me try. See, that's just... That's cool and weird at the same time. Like, he's crying upwards. Like, how does that even work? You like it? Yeah, it looks uh, pretty dope. Can't spare him yet. So I believe we do one more cheer and then that should be him. Oh, gee. I used to come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Alright. So, um... We've got 4G right now. We need about 8G right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly do a cut. Because trust me, you want to do this. Do not leave this area until you have about 8G. Just trust me on that. Well, I got a look at there because there were two enemies there, so it didn't actually take me that long. It took like 30 seconds from the last cut, so I did get lucky there, so that's good at least. Alright, so uh, what you want to do is come over to this web, and right here, leave 7G in the web. Trust me, you want to do this. It seems so dumb, and it just seems so pointless, but trust me, if you're wanting a complete true pacifist, you need to do this. Subscribe to call down and give you a donut. You may wonder what that's for. Just, for now, don't think about it, right? You got the donut, do not eat this. Do not. If you think you're going to eat it, or you think you're going to need another one, buy another one. But all you need is one spider donut, or if you really want to, the other one. So, yeah. But do not get the other ones, trust me. You, like, if you eat that donut before I say, you're not going to be able to do true fast fist, or at least it's going to be a very hard for you. So yeah, Vegetoid. Now Vegetoid, in my opinion, is one of the easiest enemies. It's not that hard. I think what you want to do is devour. Or did it? I can't remember which one it is. You fight some of Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. You green. Oh, that was it. <laughs> yeah, that was it. You had to do dinner, catch that green thing, and then there you go. You can spare it. Yeah, that was it. Now, you want to go down one of these holes. I think it was this one that has the item that we want. Um, no, it's a nab staff. <laughs> I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. <laughs> Go without me. Wait. Ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. 
That is so me. Like, Nabsa Blue is just me. Alright. Oh, crap. Oh, can we just spare that? Okay. That's fine. Oh, yeah, I forgot he didn't even do anything. He just kind of stands there. I don't even know why they did that, but... Yeah. <laughs> he just kind of chills there. I believe if he's combined with an enemy, he will actually do something, but on his own, he's just kind of too scared. Which, it's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> well, I really do like that. Alright. In fact, I believe uh, when I used to do uh, live streams of Undertale, I don't do them as much anymore. Like, I still do them, but just not as much. Um, <laughs> I believe he was the reason why I was able to live. It was just so good. Alright, so the favorite ribbon. Basically what this does is you equip it and it is a bit of defense. I believe it has free defense. So it's a pretty good item. Uh, you're going to be getting like a lot of items throughout the game. Um, and yeah. Alright. So this. This is one of the very first quote unquote puzzles. Not really a puzzle. Just read the wall. If you read this press the blue switch. So I believe. Yeah that doesn't help Vegetoid. <laughs> like can you just not. Eat your green. Alright. What was that? Alright. Got that. See, that's difficult to do. Oh, I should've done... I should've done dinner first. See, this is where it kind of gets, like, really long and tedious. Um, I'm not going to keep all battles in. I'm only going to be showing, like, the first few. Um, and obviously I'll show, like, any new enemies, but for the most part I'm not going to be, like, showing every single enemy in the game. Just because I feel like that'll just get really boring. And because we're just sparing them, it'll just make the show the videos like 50 minutes long. And I don't want to do that. Alright, read this, press the red switch. And then I believe the last one's hidden. And you need to figure out which one it is. So it's a little bit annoying. Um, I guess I could show the flea command. Um, because now that we've done that enemy, we've already caught it, essentially. So let's do the flea command. Basically, you just run away. And yeah. Now, with that command, actually, you're going to need that at least once in the game. I'm not going to spoil, but you will need it. I believe this is the switch you want to hit, by the way. Because uh, that one, it tells you what colour it is, but it doesn't show you what it is. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to show this off just for the sake of the video, but over here is a knife. If you are not playing True Pacifist, then that can be useful. But since I'm playing True Pacifist, I can't use it. So, I'm not going to use it, but it's there. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I'll heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. You can small. I'm not small. I'm, I'm just tiny. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to end this off. So thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the first episode of Undertale. In the next episode, we're going to enter to Real's house. In the next episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, do hit the like button. It helps the channel out a lot. And subscribe if you are new. And I will catch you all in the next video. Bye for now.